Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing an acrylic design. So all the nails are acrylic design, so acrylic powder rather than gel polish. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm doing right now is I'm applying my Easy Tips from the Glitter Planet UK. And these are just the long stiletto tips that have a really nice shape. This client wanted them really narrow, so I decided to go with these tips and then further trim them with my um, straight edge nail clipper. And that's just to get the tips a little bit a little bit more narrow looking. Um, also, I want to mention that I already done all the prep, pushed back all of her cuticles, removed the shine from the natural nail, and um, what did I do? Yeah, and that was it. I just applied the tips using my KDS glue and now i am basically just filing the nails um just shaping them like i said they're already in a good shape it's just that she wanted them a little bit more narrow um and i'm just redefining that shape with my file i'm using my 100 180 180 nail file from cjp these are the new not new but my i just purchased them so they're the um tornado nail files and i'm just um filing the nails going on a 45 degree angles on the sides and then a 90 degree angle on the free edge and then I'm just also blending the tip to the natural nail. So after this, I'm going to apply my CJP dehydrator on all of the nails and then I'm going in with um, my clear layer of CJP, not CJP, Mia Secret Pink, just doing a thin layer on all of the nails using this gorgeous brush from the Glitter Planet UK and I actually have a discount code which is LUKEY5 for 5% off if you buy anything off their website just use that and you will get 5% off um, this is very very exciting for me because I do really genuinely love the Glitter Planet UK and I know you guys will as well and it will save you money and I also want to remind you guys and also like tell you guys that they also ship to the US so literally just get your hands on some of their products and you will not regret it trust me but anyway after this i will be starting with my design so the first thing i'm applying um cjp amore on the pinky and i'll just let you guys watch this So when you're applying acrylic on the nail, um, you want to make sure that you place the first bead in the middle of the nail just so that it won't flood towards the cuticle and it will cause a big mess. So just apply it towards the middle, pat it, pat it towards the top near the cuticle and then just keep working with it. Keep brushing the um, product very, very slightly because if you brush too hard, you're basically just removing whatever you've applied. It's a waste of product and time as well. Um, so yeah, I've applied three beads on this nail. I don't really um, 
stick with the with like a good amount of beads i just put whatever i feel like is needed on the nail if you want to follow a three bead or four bead method it's up to you but i just think it's best to work with whatever you think is okay i mean you need to have a good apex a good tip just so that your nail won't break as easily um, but I also would recommend just doing this what I do which is basically applying a quite a thick bead of acrylic and then letting it dry but rather than just waiting um, and doing nothing while it dries or try it starts to dry just you know um, neaten up the sides the cuticle and everything and then just walk the rest of the bead down the nail and that way you don't have to use much product and you don't have to keep on applying acrylic another thing is also brushing your um so as soon as you apply your acrylic you might get some product on your cuticle T brush that straight away otherwise you are going to get lifting so on this middle finger i'm using a amore wet bead of amore cjp um coconut milk and yeah th just those two colors and i'm just creating a marble now i know the marble on this video is not the best but she didn't really want it an obvious type of marble she just wanted something that you know you can see strands of white and strands of pink So on the index, I am just um, applying these shards that I got. I think I got this from like a Christmas box from CJP. I'm not too sure, um, but you can just um, Google shards or Amazon, like search it on Amazon or whatever, and you'll find it. I know I shouldn't have done this. I should have just added um, my Mia Secret pink first and then um, just added the shards on top of that wet bead. But I don't know what I was thinking and that's what happened, but it still worked. So now for the thumb, I'm creating a nice ombre using my CJP coconut milk and as soon as I lay that bead onto the nail, I just flip my brush and blend it towards the middle and that just prevents you getting that um, harsh line in your ombre. Um, but yeah, when you um, do this as well, um, so when you're basically um, blending it towards the top, you're giving the rest of the bead time for it time to dry so that you can just mold it into the shape that you already have and that saves you filing time towards the end but anyway after this I do apply my um, CJP um, Amour and I'm just laying that um, closer to the cuticle and then blending it to the middle of the nail creating a nice ombre and then before the, um, the this bead dries I will be applying the shards so the same shards that I use on the index finger So on the other hand, I applied the shards the uh, correct way, which is laying your clear, which for me, in my case, I'm using my Mia Secret Pink. And then once you added that um, small clear base of the clear, um, just you know pick up your shards with your brush and then add them randomly on the nail.
you guys make sure you look at your nails from different angles because um, you can see from like this view the nail looks amazing but as soon as you turn it a little bit I did miss um, a small area which you'll see me applying right now so if um, you don't look at your nails, your nails from different angles, you won't know until you come to file and it will just be a disaster. So make sure you do this, you prevent that from like looking at it from different angles, uh, moving it, you know, up and down to look at the thickness of the tip. And yeah, looking at, looking at the apex. I know I'm using a core powder from CJP, which is Amor, but I do like to um, cap with clear. So I wasn't really bothered with the apex at this stage. But anyway, also another thing that I would like to say is when you apply your uh, bead onto the nail, you want to tuck um, the acrylic using the, uh, t the the tip of your brush onto, you know, um, the crevices or I don't know, near the cuticle area. Just because if you just don't focus on tucking that acrylic onto the nail, you will not, get, you'll just basically get a harsh line. It will be hard to file and then it will e even be easier for it to lift or even um, pop off so make sure you tuck that acrylic really nicely um, that way you can file it perfectly and it will last longer so on the other thumb I'm using like the opposite ombre so I'm applying coconut milk at the top and then a more at the bottom and um, I'm still using my shards but I'm just doing like a line a sideline I don't know, that's what I'm going to call it. A sideline using the um, same shards that I used before. So now I'm capping all of the nails using my um, Mia Secret Pink and also I don't know if I mentioned but I'm using my all time favorite monomer which is the CJP monomer and it's um, primerless so I don't know if I mentioned it I just thought it'd be um, if I didn't it, it'll be worth it for me to mention now.
so now I uh, am using my smooth top um, fine drill bit by the Glitter Planet UK and I'm just um, focusing on that cuticle area sealing that acry acrylic onto the nail uh, just to prevent lifting and I'm also um, focusing on the entirety of the nail making sure I don't have any lumps anywhere and then I also you see me holding the drill on the edges of the nail or basically the um, free edge so the sides of the nail just to make sure that you know it's easier for me to like um, get that shape back with the drill rather than having you know to spend a lot of time using my hand file so that's why that's when you see me holding that against the um, the sidewalls of the nail um, I also wanted to mention that when you do this do it at any speed you feel that you're comfortable with so I use number 10 um, using my Cyan K35 and yeah that works perfectly for me um just use whatever speed you feel comfortable with um just so you don't cut your client or cause any discomfort um but i am very com i'm very comfortable using this speed and this drill bit is amazing because it's ceramic so the heat generation is not as much as the the normal ones um so the regular ones and it's also um a safety bit so that means um, it will prevent you from cutting your client and I also wanted to, to add that I started to file before so filing the nails with a drill bit before going in with my hand file just because I feel like there's no point in me using my hand file going with this because sometimes it does change the shape a little bit so I do this first and then go with my 100 180 um, CJP nail file
So now I'm buffing all of the nails using my CJP nail buffer um, just before applying my um, design. But after that, after buffing all the nails, I will spray with my CJP prep spray and then I'm just going to use my nail brush to clean off any um, dust that is in between the cuticle because I find that when I use my acet acetone, I still have, well not acetone, my alcohol wipe, I still tend to have um, a little bit of dust there. But anyway, now I'm using my drill just because as I was buffing, I realized that th there's one side that was a little bit like sticking out and I needed to tuck that or seal it onto the nail. So like I said, make sure you look at the nail from different angles because you are bound to find some, you know, certain mistakes that, you know, can cause, you know, stuff like um, the nail coming off or breaking easily or um, lifting. So now I'm using this foil glue, I think it's called Star Glue, I bought this from TMBL and I'm just outlining the nail using this glue and if I get any on the skin or any that you know are crooked or whatever I just clean up clean it up with my cleanup brush and acetone in a dappen dish but I just I'm just outlining this just so I will wait for it to dry basically turning translucent and then applying foils. So once the glue turns translucent, you can then apply your foil um, using the matte side of the foil and yeah, just cleaning any excess foil that landed on the skin or places that you don't want to. So just use that cleanup brush whenever you need it. Whenever you need it. Um, but now I'm also adding a little bit more because I feel like I didn't wait for it to dry enough and it just wasn't sticking. So. If that happens, just add a little bit more and wait for it to completely dry and then add your foils.
So now I'm applying top coat on all of the nails um, and I'm using my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat um, and after applying it on all of the nails, I cure it for 60 seconds. This is the final look you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit longer than my usual videos but I had that requested. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give me a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Until next time you guys, bye!